The Lord Howe Island diorama is the last remaining diorama in the museum um, and part of a long tradition of dioramas at this museum and probably uh, the oldest diorama left in any Australian museum and certainly the oldest one in New South Wales. In the 1980s the rest of the dioramas in the Skeletons Gallery were removed and this one is the only one left and it was left because of its heritage significance and for many years it hasn't had any treatment done on it and now it's time to reveal it again to the public. It was installed in the gallery in 1923, part of a movement at that time to bring, to make the museum more accessible, to bring more people into the museum and to not only educate them but to entertain them. In the 1920s some external funding was provided so that a whole team could go to Lord Howe Island to collect the specimens, collect grasses, eggs, take a lot of photos, make sketches, bring it all back to the museum and recreate a scene exactly as they found it on Lord Howe Island. And really it's part of a debate about, at that time, about what the museum's function was, whether it was for entertainment, education or whether we could do both. It was originally installed with a flat, a flat background which was a much darker painting than the one that's there now of a stormy sea. In the 1940s it was renovated and the um, with new technology, particularly in casting concrete, they could make the, the curved domed effect at the back and they repainted it with a much sunnier, brighter.